Unordinary, Season 2, Episode 177. We start off at Wilson Boy Dorm. Eisen's on the computer. Sweating. Okay. Jokers. Move it down. Slide down. When John made a spectacle of us in front of the school. Step on his face. He introduced the idea of Joker and demonstrated some extremely violent behavior. Now that he's become the strongest, people are looking to him as an example. With a growing number of jokers running around, it's become really disruptive to our daily lives. We are starting to retaliate out of frustration. And like John, they're not holding back either. Ooh. If I hadn't stepped in when I did, how far would that girl have gone? A simple trip to infirmary. When I've been enough, no, she was trying to send that kid to the hospital. Low rankers don't understand their limits, yet they are the ones most likely to pose as Joker. They're all mindlessly self destructing as more and more students fight back. It's up. I can't let this continue. Joker's true identity, so he's writing the article. Joker's gonna have my head. He sees this. But what choice do I have? How else am I supposed to stop these people from hurting themselves? Ring, ring, press room, ring. No? Here's what I could find on Claire. That's her online profile, along with her number, in case you want to talk to her directly. Hmm. Pregnant Sarah. Whoa. The response time. Not bad, Aizen. <laughs> I'm expecting to die within the next couple of days, so should just try to get everything done by then. Oh, door opens. Huh? Oh, you're here. Arlo. All right, let's get started. So what do you find? Everything. Hmm? Primary school, middle school, and high school records. It's all here. He gets pretty high marks in academics, which explains how he got into Wilson. Doesn't seem to have many hobbies aside from writing. His ability level grew from 1.6 in primary school to 2.0 by then in middle school. And right before entering Wilson, he was 2.2. So based off his growth history, I'd guess he's at around 2.4 now. This all seems pretty normal. So why did you call us here? Well, according to the information I found, there's no way Terrence and this invisible mall dude could be the same person. Why is that? Because their ability levels don't match up. What would you expect a level 2.4 invisible user to be capable of? Invisible for several minutes. I'd give it 15 minutes max. Hmm. When the stalker followed us from the mall, he never appeared once, even after I kicked him. Exactly. He's able to easily stay hidden. Plus, you two didn't see this. But when we start questioning the ability Geiger at Kovaro. Hmm? This guy managed to swoop in, turn his buddy invisible too. Huh? Okay, now let me ask you. Which people have the capacity to extend the effects of their own ability onto someone else? Here at Wilson? Myself, Serafina, John, Elaine, Elise and above. See what I'm saying? There's no way a 2.4 could pull that off. Regardless, the evidence is there. Terrence knew details about your mall visit. He wrote the bomb oracle almost immediately. On top of that, he's been telling all the high tiers at Wollstone, which seems consistent with the ability Geiger's goal. Shrugs? I don't know. Hmm. There are two possibilities. One. 
Terrence's oracle was a fluke. He's just a fanboy who really admires high tiers. For two, these documents are inaccurate, and Terrence is secretly a high ranker. Hmm. Or, got a sibling? Whoop. Won't be the first time someone like that happened. Another comment. <laughs> Which one of the possibility? It could be the result of an amplification drug. A what? This amplification drug again? You know what he's talking about? A while back, I spoke with Remy. She mentioned something similar. Says she stumbled upon it online. Since then, I tried researching myself. But there is no mention of it anywhere. Now you brought it up too. Aizen has his hands up. What's going on, Aizen? Where'd you find out about this? I'm a g good finder. It's kind of my thing. Hmm. Things weren't supposed to turn out the way they did. We weren't prepared. Is this something you found during your little x-ray escapade? Like, uh, huh? H how did you know about that? <laughs> X-ray? Remy Blyke and Aizen try to play superhero. How the heck do these two know everything already? Went on a quest to find Ember and almost got themselves killed by someone called Vulcan. Vulcan? Like volcano? Fire? Sounds like she's a part of Ember. Uh, actually, we're almost certain she is. She was crazy fast and strong. She had these fiery claws. Fiery claws? I've seen a theme here. Prior to discovering her, we ran into two targets who were using these amplifiers. They're very powerful injections. Enough to boost your ability by an entire tier. That much? No wonder Ember was able to kill him. Vulcan was the one shooting these amplifiers. It's likely she was using them during our fight with her. Actually, she knocked Remy out, like and I had a hard time just pulling her out of there. Huh? Aizen, was Vulcan operating alone? Yeah, definitely. If there were more of her, I wouldn't be standing here right now. Hmm. The people who came after me worked as a group. Was there a subset? And they were all really weak. This doesn't line up. Did you ever run into her again afterwards? Heck no! I quit after that. And what about Remy? Does she know anymore? Remy quit too. Huh? I ordered her to stop. I'm not losing any more people to that Ember group. The Lorries will take care of them. Oh. I'm curious, who else have you lost? Okay, that's none of your business. Fair enough. I'm pretty surprised. For someone as inquisitive as yourself, you sure have a lot of faith in those authorities. You clearly harbor resentment towards Ember. How long has Ember's been around for? And how much have the authorities uncovered about them? Are those going at Sarah? Hmm. They sure have a habit of taking their time, don't they? And I was like, uh, this is awkward. And that's the end of the episode. Hmm. So Eisen's about ready to publish an article saying that John's Joker. Well. He also gave Sarah information on Claire, and it might turn out that Terrence actually has a different level than um, is broadcasted. Um, I mean, you also have a sibling, but would they know that? Probably. Huh. Interesting stuff coming up. So, if Terrence is like hiding his abilities. How are they gonna like, you know, find him? 
he just decides to like, you know, hide. I'm guessing they gotta attack him before to give them the ability to do that. Yeah, uh John's gonna be really mad. And um hmm. I'm wondering like if John could directly beat up all the other jokers to make him stop. Uh, well, what are your thoughts? Where is this going? If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching, and have a good rest of the day. Bye.